people it's your boy the righteous messenger and today i want to talk about the teleological argument and the teleological argument is an argument made by thomas aquinas thomas aquinas is a 13th century philosopher italian philosopher he was a catholic priest and a doctor as well medical doctor and he made five arguments to prove the existence of of god the fifth one is the teleological argument so the argument states that human artifacts are products of intelligent design they have a purpose the universe resembles these human artifacts therefore it is probable that the universe is a product of intelligent design and has a purpose however the universe is vastly more complex and gigantic than a human artifact is therefore there is a probable therefore there is probably a powerful and vastly intelligent designer who created the universe so this thomas aquinas who was an italian philosopher and a priest catholic priest was making this argument to prove the existence of god the amount for later on one william Paley also took this argument and made it popular by making the analogy that as a watchmaker is to a watch so is god to the universe i'm mm, for think about it too so people we know watches are created by humans who are intelligent designers we can prove it if you can't prove it me i can prove it to you that watches are created by humans i can look for a watchmaker and show you but you can't prove that the universe was created by an intelligent designer how can you prove that there's no way to prove that and before you claim that this universe was created by an intelligent designer you need to prove all the evidence before you believe that claim so already this argument has defeated itself teleological argument which is also known as intelligent intelligent design argument telos is a greek word meaning purpose so basically this thomas aquinas who compounded or made this argument is saying that because of the purpose of the universe it must have a creator or someone must have created it you see so this someone is he god uh, or is it just nature itself because this is what some people claim. Some people claim nature is this God. But how can nature be God? Mm. In the religious books, most of the religious books confuse us more by making us think that God is in the image of a man. see making us think that god is an old man sitting somewhere running things yes because if you go in the bible jesus is saying he's sitting at the right side right hand side of the father but then when you ask people still say god is a spirit and sometimes i ask does a spirit have a right hand side or a left hand side you see all these things just to confuse human beings and sell religion to us. Hmm? And what is wrong with this God? Is he so lazy that he can't just appear in the sky and say, everyone, this is me. I'm the God who created everything. Universe and all that is in it. 
You see, that's why the atheist is saying that, look, the evidence does not warrant the existence of a God. Think about it properly. Is this God so lazy that he can't create a process where he can just reveal to everyone that, look, I am a God and I created the universe. Mm? Well, we know this God is powerful enough to create the universe if he exists or if he exists, but for us to know that this God exists, someone has to write it in a book or someone has to make an argument, you know, it doesn't add up. It doesn't. When you meet apologists, some of them will try and confuse you with this arguments just to believe and if you've never heard of this argument you think that oh it's hard it's complex how does he know these things he must be smart but if you look at the arguments read it one two three times think about it you see that these arguments are self-defeating these arguments have holes in them that you can use to debunk the argument. You cannot compare an artificial artifact to a naturally occurring artifact. It's not reasonable in my eyes. We know a watch has a creator. A watch was artificially designed or created to serve a purpose. We don't know that of the universe. I think we have he we as humans and because we are thinking beings, we have taken advantages of what this universe has to offer. And through that, we're saying that the universe has a purpose. Mom, four. Think about it. Think about it. Anyway, it's your boy, the righteous messenger. And you know, I just come talk to you about the teleological argument. I'll come back with more arguments. Peace.